Hello! My name is Literary Haley and I love to talk about books, specifically romance books where audiobooks are my jam. I have a massive unhaul. Because we were moving, I had to downsize quite a bit. Most of these I had listed on my Pango books and these were all of the books that I did not sell. I can't remember how many books I ended up selling on my Pango books, but it's a lot more than what the Pango book says because a lot of them I bundled together like historical romances and series, that sort of thing. So I've gotten rid of quite a bit. These remaining books are are going to be donated to my current local used bookstore and this is going to be just a rapid what is going video because it's going to be they're all in boxes and it's all chaotic it's going to be too much to try to organize them and give you my whole little spiel on why I'm getting rid of them so let's get into it this whole stack is a Nicholas Sparks stack up first we've got the last song Dear John the lucky one the wedding two by two safe haven at first sight Dear John with the movie actors and a bend in the road. Nicholas Sparks is kind of a special author to me. As a kid, I always hated reading. And then when I was in high school, I read The Choice by Nicholas Sparks and I fell in love with reading Hope Ignites by J.C. Burton. J.C. Burton is another author that I used to read a lot in high school, especially the sports romance series. I loved that in high school. I just did a reread and uh, I can see why high school me loved them, but 27 year old me does not and it's time to let them go. I also love how I said I wasn't gonna do a spill about every single one um, and then here I am. My copy of Divergent, it's ripped. Some of the pages are having like that foxing that happens in some older books. I'm gonna butcher how to say this, but I'm getting rid of this book. Oh look, another Nicholas Sparks book, <laughs> True Believer. And another one, Knights and Rodanthe. Molokai by Alan Burnett. The Duchess by Bertrice Small. And then this duet by Pepper Winters, Ruin and Rule, Sin and Suffer. I'm going to repurchase these because these I didn't notice until later on, but they are having that foxing. If you guys know what foxing is and if it's okay to keep these books that are having this issue, let me know because there's a lot of controversy surrounding foxing and what it is. Some people say that it's mold and that it will spread to other books. Some people say that it's fine. It's just what the you know, the paper is just old and it's the way that the like minerals broke down within the paper and so it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I, I don't know if that's the case, but if you know, let me know. Looking for Alaska by John Green. The Darkest Slide by Gina Schul Schalwalter. And these two by Beverly Jenkins. I hauled these from Pango Books and when they came, they are super old and aged. And these also have both, they both have foxing on them as well, which makes me really sad because I was really excited to have these covers. But again, I don't, I don't know. Like, are these books okay to still have or not? My entire Twilight series i think it's time to say goodbye the millionaire rogue by jessica peterson a buccaneer at heart by stephanie lawrence and i think yeah this one has a step back the ideal bride by stephanie lawrence with the step back the capture of the earl of glenclare by stephanie lawrence this one does not have a step back barely a lady by eileen dreyer the giver by lois lowry i've had this book since high school so it's kind of sentimental but I don't know, I think it's time to part. Hearts Enslaved by Judith Hill. This series by Jacqueline Frank. I don't remember which order they go in, but this is the Nightwalker series. So we've got Forged, Forever, Forbidden, and Forsaken. I never got around to reading that series. Wicked All Nights by Janine Frost. Gentleman Seeks Bride by Megan Franton. I have two of these, I don't need two. McLaren's Isle, The Passionate One by Connie Brockway. Now Step Back. Until You by Patrice Small, The Reluctant Suitor by Kathleen E. Woodowis, No Step Back, The Maiden of Ireland by Susan Wiggs, Wings of the Storm by Susan Sizemore, and I got this one because of the cover, gorgeous. Heart of Honor by Kat Martin with the Step Back, Love Me Tender by Sandra Hill, another one I got for the cover because it's absolutely gorgeous, When Destiny Calls by Susan Elizabeth, Night Shadow by Kathleen Coulter, I have two of When He Was Wicked by Julia Quinn, I was looking for the all of the versions with the step backs and these do not have the step backs. The Mistress by Maya Banks. Once Burned by Janie Frost. And this one doesn't have a step back. It looks like it does, but it's like one of those little fake pages. These two by Kate Douglas. So we have Starfire and Demonfire. 
The Devaney Brothers by Cheryl Woods. The Day He Kissed Her by Juliana Stone. Against the Night by Kat Martin. Sweet Surprise by Candace Terry. Temptation Bridge by Robin Carr. Return to You by Samantha Chase. Dead to the World by Charlene Harris. I have all of these original covers in the regular paperback setting, so I don't need this pocket size. Killer Hills by Cheryl J. Anderson. Hot Ice by Nora Roberts. What a Woman Wants by Judy Fennell. When You Dare by Lori Foster. A lot of these books I've had for a long time, and then some of them were in like a buy five, get five free deal, so I just had to get I had to get some others to make them 50 cents each, which I know that doesn't make complete sense to everyone, but makes sense to me. So Rescue Me by Rachel Gibson. Houston We Have a Problem by Erin McCarthy. Just Beyond Tomorrow by Bertrice Small. All Played Out by Cora Carmack. Wicked and Wild by Jenna Stark. Serena Singh Flips the Script by Sonia Lolly. The Other Side of the Pillow by Zane. Falling for You by Lisa Schrouder. A Highlander Walks Into a Bar by Laura Tritham. And some more of my Divergent series where they are experiencing foxing and are just not in the best condition. So we have four Insurgent and then another <laughs> Divergent because I tried to replace my other one and you see it didn't go as well. Entwined With You by Sylvia Day. Death's Excellent Vacation by Charlene Harris. This is like a book in between the Suki Stackhouse series. And I know I just shared Entwined With You, but I have two of them. So, and then I have this whole series, whole Gideon Cross series. I read these in high school, but <laughs> it's just time to part with them. I have two of these, The Sweetest Remedy by Jane Argo. Finding Yvonne by Brandy Colbert. And this is a hardback. And I love the color of this blue. 180 by Terry Kay. I have two of these. The Ballad of Haiti Taylor by Susan Anderson. I also have two of these. Montauk by Nicola Harrison. Some more by JC Burton. So I have another Hope Ignites, but this is in pocket size book. And Hope Burns. Immortals, The Redeeming by Jennifer Ashley. And Megan Marks by Laura Lay. Super quick on haul, but those are all of the books that are getting donated to various places. Anyways, that is my unhaul. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.